Oh, who is this? Who is this? Freaky. This dude is freaky. And ladies and gentlemen, there's a box. You know what? There's another treasure box. What is going on, gaming dudes? Welcome back to Midnight Gaming with Mystic Nightmare, and welcome back to our room series. Now, we have done playthroughs of The Room, The Room 2, and this is now The Room 3, and I'm super excited about this because this is one of the greatest game series that I've ever actually played. I absolutely love it. It is interesting, it is addicting, it is graphically and visually stunning, beautiful, it is cheap, the room is $5, the room two is $5, and the room three is 75% off right now. It's like $1.99 or something like that. And it is a puzzle box game, if you will. Puzzle box slash puzzle room game. I absolutely love it. And it, the, the greatest thing about this is it has one of the most eerie, really cool inventive uh, backstories and I really, really enjoy a lot of the puzzles and how they come up with them. I don't know how they came up with them, but I, can, I can't I can imagine how these guys came up with them because they're really inventive. They're completely awesome, and I totally love it. So we're going to go ahead and start. Hopefully, I've got the music low enough where it's not too loud compared to my voice. Let's go ahead and get this started. Now, there is a backstory. If I've got time, I'll go ahead and tell you about the backstory of it. But we're going to go ahead and start and see if we can get this thing going. Inky blackness. Okay, so usually at the starting of these games, there's basically a tutorial uh, that kind of reminds you of how to play. To play, double click, left click is zoom in, right click is zoom out. I don't know, I'm telling you these this guys because all you really want to do is just actually see what's going on. And you need to click and move your head to look around. Personally, I like WASD to be able to move in and out and stuff like that, but this is kind of the way it's going to be. So, a little bit of the backstory. We have a relative or hat I should say a relative that went by the name AS now AS was a relative who was a scientist and this is really cool because he was a scientist that found a new element called the null now the null is badass because it helps you it actually it actually has the capability of transporting you through time through different dimensions through eons centuries i mean different worlds and everything else so it's absolutely incredible and we were following our relative as up here to the point where he started to feel a little bit bad that we were following him he knew that we were following him and he wanted to save our lives and to do that he sacrificed his own and in the last in the last game we found him dead um, by a card table, by the way. Um, we went ahead and finished that off, and now we were able to get out of all of these different rooms and these different centuries and stuff like that, and we were able to escape, basically, out of the Knoll's rooms or 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 box uh, box puzzles and stuff like that i mean it's just an absolutely deep story and i absolutely love it we were able to escape and now we are on a train and this is the future so as is gone his entire house is gone i dare not recount all that i saw this is us talking I would rather that I was insane and that those infernal boxes were but a figment of my fevered mind. I should never have ignored you. If only I had come sooner. If only I had not come at all. July 17th, I have awoken from the nightmare, but am forever haunted by it. I submerge myself in my work as if to draw, as if to drown the memories, but it is no use. The null calls to me in my sleep and seizes any unoccupied moment to fill my thoughts unbidden i am marked i have continued to petition the royal institute there is something about their denials that does not sit with me their insistence is too shrill and determined to cover something 
as innocent as ignorance. And the Royal Institute is basically a science institute, and we are people that try to let them know about what the null is. And like I said, the null is kind of an element that's between elements, fire, water, earth, wind. It's between those. It's a nothingness, but at the same time, it is something. It's kind of like dark matter. A breakthrough as the Royal Institute rebuffed me once more, an undercover an undersecretary with a drawn drawn look slid a packet into my back pocket as they passed. They refused to meet my eyes as they hurried away. The packet included a page torn from a map of the south coast with an island circled. I leave on the first train. This right here, this box right here is the null. And this is the symbol right here for the null. And then room, temple, tomb, crypt, it could be anything. So the null actually has you go through all of these different rooms and stuff. You have to do all of these puzzle box because of your, I don't know if he was an uncle, but AS, your relative. And you had to do all of these puzzle boxes to get them open because he was afraid it would fall into the wrong hands. So that's why we're doing all these puzzle boxes. So you've got all these, these basically these are the, dro the doors that um, can take us through affinity and stuff and, and everything else that takes us through all the different rooms. And it's always this symbol, which is the symbol of the null. And then you've got these doors right here that open up just magically in walls and stuff like that. So that's basically it for that right lick, uh, right lick to loom out. I'm gonna right click instead of right licking. And here we go. Oh, who is this? Who is this? Freaky. This dude is freaky. And ladies and gentlemen, there's a box. You know what? There's another treasure box. I don't know. We, we, we It took us a while to get through the last one. I'm thinking maybe we should just forget about it all. Let's just ride the train till we get to our destination. Sound good? All right, let's double click this. Click on the key to pick it up. I'm clicking the key to pick it up. A small key. It is a small key. You can examine stuff too by clicking on it, but it won't allow me to click on it. Nothing in here. All right, cool. We're backing out. Now, you see how the shimmer is right here? I remember the shimmering stuff. The shimmering stuff usually means that we need the eye or the eyeglass. What is the eyeglass? The eyeglass has been our staple tool throughout the entire three games that we've been playing right now. Up until now, I should say. And what is the the suit? My suitcase has some modifications. I recruited the security. Open this up, and this is basically a way that all of you know the the basically all of the puzzles in the game happen is you just kind of zoom in, look at it, and zoom out. So there's the eyepiece that we need. If we click on the eyepiece, it shows a whole bunch of really weird, you know, trippy rave stuff going on here. Um, Null symbol, null symbol. Actually, this isn't a null symbol. This is the null symbol. So you got stuff going on in here. I don't think there's really anything that we can do uh, with any of this stuff. So we're going to click that and we are going to get out. I, I am right clicking. Okay. Sometimes with the tutorial, if you go too fast, it just can't keep up. All right. So now the puzzling begins, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just start and see what happens. Let's see how far we get. Boom, baby. Drag the key into the hole. Dragging the key into the hole. Spinning the key around and around and around we go. Oh, baby. Is that it? That says ellipse. An engraved pyramid. Ellipse. Remember that word, because it probably means... Oh, is there a door that's going to be opened? That's usually what this means. And we're inside a door. Room with a door. Room with a door. Uh, okay, so I can't move very far. Let's go ahead and look through the eyeglass and see if we actually see anything. Nothing. I really hope I explained the story up until now really well, guys, because the story is what really made the game for me. I was super excited. But what? It's the Nazis! It's the Germans! The Germans! Oh, look at that. See, he just walks through a, an open... Look at that. Open door just like that. Nothing big. Not a big deal. Okay, so now it's allowing us to get through here. God, I really, really hope I explained the story well. Because it's very... It was fascinating to me. I love the story and everything about it. It was amazing. Okay, so we got nothing over here. What do we got over here? Let's go ahead and read this. 
Can I click on it? Sometimes you have to click like 15 times. You were warned not to look for me, but you would not listen. And it has become necessary for me to find you. Welcome to Gray Home. The seat of my ancestors. Seldom few visitors have walked these halls. Fewer still have walked free of them. In the past, I have drawn my subject from the greatest minds of history. Each played their part, but none outlived it. The Null wraps its bonds around all, all except you. It was, it was a mistake to try and keep you away. I see now that I have great need of you. If you can prove yourself worthy, your first task is to find something that will aid you in your trials ahead. Find it or never leave this room and I will have gone to great effort in vain. The craftsman. So before the dude that was making all of the boxes and all of the rooms, so we had to solve the problems and actually figure out how to get through the room just to keep it out of, you know, to keep it in our hands, to keep it safe, to keep it out of the wrong hands, was AS, our relative. Now it's the craftsman, and I'm super excited about that. So let's go ahead and back back out. All right, so we got some stuff over here. The power of flight, the well of knowledge. The poor have me, the rich need me. My face is silent without my hands. Okay, so the only thing that I can see so far are these three little bobbers here. And then this thing right here, I can click on it, but I can't do anything with it. So it means I got probably got to open this. Now, if I, whoops. Now, if I click on this, can I actually zoom into this? Normally these round things means I can spin them. Yes, I can. So we've got a cup, we've got a, uh, a pipe, and we've got a moth and a paintbrush. And then it looks like a whistle and then nothing. Okay, so let's go ahead and back out. What do we got in here? Uh, it looks like we've got a fire putter outer. It's like a candle putter outer, an old time candle, you know, extinguisher. A, uh, a, a, a what are they called? A, a syringe, a watch, a candle, and a boner. All right. Oh, and a and a paintbrush. Is there anything else? Okay. No, we're good. So what's the next thing? We come over here, and we've got a inkwell with a feather. We got poison. Uh, a scroll and a watch. Uh, no, I'm sorry, a picture watch, pocket watch, um, and a uh, a timer, hourglass. That's what it's called. And then spectacles. All right, so that's all I can see so far. I don't see anything else in here. My face is silent without my hands. My face is silent without my hands. Okay, so a watch has a face and it has hands. So we're going to leave it on the watch. Um, what was this one? The power of flight, the well of knowledge. Well, that's definitely a feather with um, an ink well. Flight, knowledge, easy, right? All right, so what's this one? Uh, the poor have me, the rich need me. The poor have me, the rich need me. Hello, Clarice. Uh, okay. The poor have me, the rich need me. Nothing. Oh, I get it. The poor have me, the poor have nothing. The rich need me. They need nothing. I get it. Cool. All right. So another, another note. It is quite painful to watch how you blunder to and fro, half blinded by those crude lenses you stumbled upon. Allow me to pry the scales from your eyes. Please do. These are the instruments of a craftsman. They will allow you to see the universe as it truly is and reach into the unseen inf infinity of space that surrounds us. The craftsman. Very cool. So what is this? An ornate box. Can we look at it? There's some sort of mechanism keeping the box closed. Can we look at it? Okay. So it doesn't look like anything odd to me. Uh, it looks like there's hinges on the back. So let's see. We can obviously open it. Can we? All right. Okay. That was an easy opening. Now I just got to get it in the right. There we go. What is this? A lens. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our brand new lens, which hopefully will allow us to see into infinity, as he was saying. Something strange on this door. Okay, so we use the lens. Double click on the door to examine it. Double click on the keyhole. 
Okay, now we have some tumblers. Um, okay, you see how that lights up right there? I have a feeling that's what all the tumblers need to be doing is right. That lights up right there. But that one is too... Okay, so we got three lit up. But if I turn one... Okay, they're all lit up. Sweet! That was all it took. I feel like the, the, the music, now that I don't have the music going, it's, it's too quiet with all the background noises and stuff like that. Okay, so I think uh, everything in here has been seen or looked through or done. I can't see anything else, so let's go ahead and go through the door. One of the biggest things that I found that really works well with this game is if right off the bat, just look through the lens and look at the room. Because there's stuff sometimes that are on the floor that can help out. There's stuff, there's Merlin saying hi. Because, I mean, I'm doing a video. Why would he, you know, want to actually be quiet through the entire video? Merlin's sitting with me now, so there shouldn't be more loud, ear-piercing screams from an African gray parrot. Let's go ahead and look and see what this is. Read this. The key to the null will be forged here. I have given you the first piece. For safety, the remaining four are held separately. Retrieve them and bring them to this font. Only then can you fulfill your destiny. See, it's always about keeping it out of the wrong hands, yada, yada, yada. So they make us to go through all of this trouble to do all of these puzzles and stuff. And then we got to dork around. We take the triangle and put it here. No? What about here? See, this is some of the cool stuff that they have. I mean, look at the game. It's visually beautiful, is it not, ladies and gentlemen? It's absolutely stunning game. And then they got really cool stuff that happens like this. The only thing I don't like about it is they've got us they've got us stuck at 60 FPS. That's the only thing that I like about I don't like about it is because I would like like 500 FPS, but it won't let me do it because I. Th but they don't give us an option to turn off V-Sync, and I think they've got a permanent V-Sync on. Uh, okay, so what else is in the room? Okay, so there's this back over there. What else we got? That's all that I can see with the glass. Can we click on something over here? No. Can we click on this door? Yes, we can click on this door. This does not go there. I'm pretty sure it does not. Um, okay, I do not know what's going on here. Okay, I really can't do anything with that. What was that on the floor right there? Okay, can we see anything with that? Nope, nothing on there. All right, so it's all about figuring stuff out. So if you have patience and you don't mind waiting for me to figure out what the hell's going on, let's go over here and see what's over here. All right. So we can take this, obviously this goes right into here. So we've got these opened up. Now, what is this? Oh, we can't, can we zoom into each one? We can, okay, cool. So we've got, we've got an owl, a star, and a bug. Here's a bug here. There's an owl there. It looks like half a, uh, we got only half a star over here. And then we've got, the split apart thing which is that right there i'm wondering if this is like yeah i think it is you put these two together and you get you put these these two together and you should have a grasshopper symbol in it but it needs to be on the left side okay so what else is in there okay that's on the right that's on the top okay so you take traits of each one and you put it down through here so this one's an owl with this symbol. So we got this symbol, we need an owl with two stars above it. There we go. All right, there's half of it done. We should be able to do the other half pretty easily now that we know what's going on. Okay, so we got a snake in the bottom left. Okay, and then we got a rat at the top right. Pretty simple, not too bad, not too bad. Oh yeah, we got a we got a room opening up, ladies and gentlemen. 
I am excited. I'm so stoked for this game. I've been waiting for it to come out, and then I forgot to look at it. Double click, see if we can go ahead and go into this room real quick here. I, I forgot to keep watching it, and then I just thought about it the, for, on a random whim the other day. Um, I just thought about it, and I was like, okay, that I want to go play. And I looked it up, and I was like, okay, cool. Oh, I forgot to do what I always do. Uh, let's go ahead and look around the room, see if I can see any... Okay, so the grandfather clock looks like it has the hands aren't moving. It must be broken. It's actually not moving or not broken. It's just they have little keys that wind up right here. My parents have a grandfather clock, but we can't do anything with it as of right now. We need some keys. I can tell it right here. This little thing probably opens up. Uh, let's see. What can we do here? We got this little letter right here. Let's go ahead and read this letter. As you have discovered in your little adventures, contained within the Null is the power to transfer matter across space and time. I have watched you cross leagues and centuries just as some lesser individual might cross a street. But what of light years? What of eons? Have you barely, uh, you have barely even began to tap its potential. I have darted a world... I have charted a world not unlike our own, yet incredibly distant. It is the source of the null. I have I have measured it, I have even seen it, but I cannot reach it, not without your help. But first I must teach you how, and you must prove capable of learning. If you don't know how, then how the hell are you going to teach me? Can we get into this thing right here? Okay, so normally with the puzzles in the past, we had to spin these around, but we can't spin around. I can't do anything here. There's nothing with the eyeglass, so we're moving out. Uh, can we do anything down here? Can we open this? This door is locked tight. This one obviously has a key as well that I can't get into. And this one obviously has some type of a key too. This one has nothing in it. Okay, so there's nothing over here that's obvious. Sometimes lamps will have stuff, pictures will have stuff, stuff on the wall. Let's go to this thing right here. What does this thing do right here? Okay. Nothing that I can see. Nothing with the glass. All right, we're moving out. Can I come over here? Yes, I can. Okay, these are usually levers that you can switch down. The handle is locked in place. Can't do anything there. Okay, can I go over here? Oh, I can go over here. Okay, so what is this thing? Minus, plus, minus, uh, minus, plus, minus. Okay, so these move back and forth. These are circuits that connect. Ooh, look. There's one that connects right there. So it goes from minus to plus, minus to plus, minus to plus and then it needs to go from plus to minus right so something like that and then this probably goes over here no does this jump one? Oh, oh, oh I activated it cool I didn't realize that went over all the, all the way to the right I got lucky on that one okay Oh, that's cool. See how beautiful this game is? I mean, it's absolutely stunning. It really is. Okay, and we put power to this thing too, which means I probably... I wonder if these need to be in an order. Okay, there's a button that opens that up. Cool, sweet. Oh. Ooh, that hurts the ears. That hurts the ears. I think I need to match this bright line with the dark back line, uh, background line as well. So we need amplitude and we need frequency. Okay, let's go ahead and crank this one. This one's too high. We need to lower it. This one needs to be tightened a little bit. Seems like it's going a little bit fast. I need to slow it down. Or speed it up. Is that not right? Oh, frequency needs to go down a little bit. Or amplitude, my bad. All right, we got lasers. Laser beams, stop humping the laser. Here we go. Let's see if we got another wall opened up. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I think we just finished the first room. Actually, technically, it's like three rooms that we just finished. Or two rooms. I think what, what it is is we got that main one where he said that there's four more of these little boxes. And we have to keep coming back to that main room to finish it off. Um, so we're probably going to have to keep going back and forth when it comes down to that main room. So let's go ahead and start off by looking at the eyeglass, which I do not see. Sometimes it helps to zoom into like the main table as you're looking and then look in the background, see if you can see anything in the background. I do not see anything in the background. I do not see anything on the table when it comes down to the lens. So it looks like the table looks like some type of a map that's missing a few pieces. And then can we go over here? We can go over here. Uh, is there anything over here? As far as the lens is concerned, there is not. Lamp, books. Oh, oh, okay, so we can do that. And then, okay, so these just rock the pointers. Are they pointers to the, oh, oh, do you see that? Okay, so when both pointers are at the same letter then you can change it but how do you do letters over here it doesn't matter anyway i don't know what this i don't know what this word is oh wait there was a note down here what is this the name of this tower will will reveal the way ladies and gentlemen i think we're going to leave it off there for today if you like the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, don't hit it. Just make sure no matter what you do, thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out with me today, guys. I really appreciate it. Keep gaming, keep doing it, and I have a blast. See you guys in the next episode. Take care, have a good one, and bye-bye.